Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to replace the fuel filter on your vehicle. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. This particular car I'm working with here today is a 1997 BMW 540i, but this is intended to be a generic replacement video. Not all vehicles are equipped with a replaceable fuel filter, unfortunately. Some, like the one I'm working with here today, does have an external filter and is required to be replaced at certain maintenance intervals. Others have a built-on fuel filter that is part of the fuel pump assembly and can be very costly to replace. Place. Normally that style there is only replaced when the fuel pump fails. Now the maintenance intervals for ones with an external filter are 40,000 kilometers or 25,000 miles, but then again this is dependent on what your vehicle manufacturer states. Plugged fuel filters can cause poor fuel economy, a drop in performance, rough engine idling, and added strain on your fuel pump. When replacing the fuel filter, they can be located on a variety of locations, such as somewhere in the engine bay, under the floor, in a fender well, in a frame rail, by the fuel tank, etc. So this will be dependent if you need to raise your vehicle off the ground or not. For this vehicle, I have pulled it onto ramps so I can gain access to the filter which is directly underneath the driver's seat. With this model I do need to remove a plastic cover under the floor by taking some expanding clips out, 8mm screws and 10mm nuts. The expanding clips need to have the center removed first and you'll be able to snap them out of place. The first stage in the replacement is to remove or at least cut back the built up fuel pressure in the system. This can be done by removing the fuel pump fuse, therefore the vehicle will only run on the fuel pressurized in the fuel lines for only a few seconds. For this vehicle here, the fuse panel is located in the glove box. Other vehicles can be located under the hood, under the dash, on the side of the dashboard, etc. Using your owner's manual, or in this situation, the information chart that is located with the fuse panel, determine which fuse is for the fuel pump circuit. This one states it being as 31. Remove the fuse. Now go ahead and start your vehicle. It'll only run for a few seconds until it uses up all its pressurized fuel. For this particular vehicle here, here's the location of the expanding trim clips. Here's the location of the screws and finally the locations of the nuts. There will be a couple on the tunnel side of the floor where the exhaust shield, which means you do have to reach around underneath the car quite far. Now the fuel filter is finally exposed. In this scenario, we have gear clamps holding on the rubber lines, along with clamp on brackets keeping the filter in place. Other vehicles may have a special type push lock fitting, which can be removed fairly easily, and I will include a tutorial to that in the description below. I would highly recommend using safety glasses as we don't want to get sprayed in the eyes with any fuel. Also for added protection, wear some gloves because the fuel can irritate your skin. As for these gear clamps, we can use Use either a screwdriver or socket to remove the gear clamp. Loosen the clamps and then slide them off away from the clamped areas. Unbolt the bracket from the fuel filter. This will be dependent on your vehicle's model whether it's more convenient to do this before or after you disconnect the fuel lines. Here I'll be using a 5mm allen key to remove the bolt, then slide the bracket out of the way. Next I normally like to twist the filter a little if possible. This will free up the o-rings or rubber lines on the connections, so the removal process will be much easier. But be sure not to put any added stress on the fuel lines as we don't want to jeopardize their durability. Have a small cup or pan handy as well because there will be fuel located within the filter that will dump out. Then pull the connections off accordingly. Dump the remaining fuel from the filter in a container and dispose of properly. Also as an added note, if you have an asphalt driveway, be sure not to get any on the driveway as it can eat up the asphalt. Here we can see both the new and old filters. Match them up to ensure they are similar. Some designs may vary ever so slightly, but we want to make sure the length is correct because the fuel lines are only so long. Now again this will be dependent on your vehicle's make and model and how the fuel lines do hook up. We also want to make sure the inlet and outlet connections are the same. As for the fuel filter orientation, there will be a flow arrow or an in or out imprinted on the ends of the filter. Install the new filter according to the flow pattern. Place the connections back on and ensure everything is tightened up correctly. Reinstall the fuse that you removed earlier for the fuel pump, then start the vehicle. You can bleed the air out of the system if you wish, or you can just crank the engine over a couple times which will slowly push the air out of the fuel system. But when cranking your engine over, don't overuse your starter for long periods as this can overheat it and damage it. If it appears to take a little longer, allow the starter to rest for a couple of minutes and then give it another try. Once your vehicle is running, be sure to inspect the filter area to look for any leakage. If all is good, then finish putting everything back together. This concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.